Okay, so in this section, we're going to add the ability to add a picture to the recipe. But before we do that, let's fix some minor errors. One thing I noticed is that we need this right here as well. Um, sometimes I was noticing that it was getting triggered more than once and it was causing an error. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that in. And just to give you a point of reference, I'm in the init Firebase file under the source folder. The other thing we're going to need is to import storage locally because we're going to be uploading um, storage. So while we're here, we'll go ahead and do that. And then there were some errors on our add recipes page. So I'm going to go there. And the first one that I want to fix is when we define our form, you'll notice that we're using unit and not units. So we just needed to use uh, units with an S because we're using it everywhere like so. And we're also using none. So right here you can see we're using none, not NA, and it's lowercase none. So if we just fix that, that will fix some of the errors that we're, you might have been seeing. Uh, the other thing, um, this was more of a subtle bug, is that when you clicked add ingredient, and let's say I had one here and one here, and then I click submit, you'll notice that there's only two errors right here. There's not three. So if I were to inspect the element, um, you'll see I have an error property name of undefined because when I'm looping through everything um, and I, I'm looping through the ingredients, I'm using this I and I'm using errors I name and it, there's no name right there So because there's no third element. So what we need to do to fix that is pretty easy. I'm just going to copy and paste this. So all we need to do is say if there's a third ingredient or if there's an ith ingredient if you want then go ahead and do something so we just need to copy and paste that everywhere and there's definitely a better way of doing this but just for time's sake we're going to just copy and paste it in we'll do that and then we'll do that and that should fix all of our ears so let's go ahead and test that last one out it was a little bit of a sneaky one to be honest so if i click add you can see now the right ear shows up in the right place. So my challenge to you, now that we have all these ears gone, is to uh, see if you can add this yourself. See if you can add the field. See if you can add the validation. Go ahead and do the research and see if you can figure it out on your own. If you can't, no big deal. And I'll, uh, we'll get started with it in the next uh, section. Okay, hopefully you were able to figure that out. If not, no worries. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some custom validators for Yup to validate this field. Let me go ahead and make this smaller. So I'm going to call this uh, Yup.ts. And I'm going to paste in these uh, Yup validators. And we'll, there's a few important things to note about this. This is just using the built-in test me method in Yup. Uh, the name of the validator is file max. Um, in the arguments, you're going to pass a message and the maximum amount of bytes. So this one is validating the size of the file and making sure that it's instance of the file. So that's super important. So this validator expects that the value being passed to it will be a file. And same thing for this one, file format. Same thing. And basically, the, make sure that the, you'll pass in a format, which will be like a list of meme types, and you'll make sure that's included in that. So for me, I want um, uh, PNGs, JPEGs, and GIFs uh, for my meme types. And meme types just are like basically the type of the file. Okay. So now that we have that, uh, we need to import it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to import it in my uh, add recipe, because that's where I'm going to be using it. And I'm going to import it right up here, I think. So I'm going to say import. And all I have to do is just import it. I don't have to do anything else. So that's the first step. And then the second step is we need to add the field to our, uh, to our list of fields. So I'm going to copy that in. I'm just going to put it under ingredients, because that's the easiest. And don't worry about this error, that's fine. But what's really important is that max bytes and messages, they correspond to right here, max bytes and message. So that's super important. Um, and this is an error, so I'll fix that in the page. This should be, I think, 50,000 uh, bytes, not, not uh, 
five hundred thousand bytes. Um, so that would be way too big. Same thing. These are the uh, meme types. You can see formats and the error message. So now we have that. We need to add the default field, which is main picture, and we'll just set it to null as our default. So that's pretty standard. The next thing we'll need to do is actually add the field. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to add it right on, under the description, but you can add it wherever you want. You don't have to copy me. Um, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. And one thing to note is that we're, like I said, we're passing the file to the field. That's why we need this update field value function. And this function actually comes from um, swap form lib. So but where, where we're going to get that is from right here. When we create the form itself, we can just do a comma and just uh, get that fu function right there. So with that function, we have to pass, if we go back to it, the name and the actual thing that it's validating. So that's how we're doing it. We're just doing a little bit of trickery right there. So that's pretty cool. So the, now that we have that, um, and we can test out our validation. So first test out a um, something that we definitely shouldn't be able to upload, which is Google Chrome. That's okay, so that's giving us our 50 megabytes, so that's good. I think I have Docker, which will trigger the, uh, should trigger the uh, max file size. That's doing that. Okay, yeah, they both trigger that. Let's do Discord, because that should tr not trigger the max file size. I don't think, okay, that's triggering it too now. Um, let's see if I can find something that, okay, this wave will not because it's 24 megabytes. So that should trigger the image. So our validation's working. <laughs> I know that took a little bit. Sorry about that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to um, edit the place where we're saving the data to the database. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go up here and notice that in our recipe form, we don't have an image, even though we're now passing an image. So I'm going to say main picture, which is the name of our field, and we're going to set that to a file. So that's pretty self-explanatory, but now we can't do this because we can't send a file to Firestore, which makes sense. We actually want to send the file path. So we're going to take that off by just manually doing it. So and when I say manually, I mean like title, and then we'll have to say recipe form dot title. And then we'll do description and we'll do recipe form dot description and then ingredients. And we'll do recipe form dot ingredients. And that should fix that, which is good. The next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create some functions for uploading the file and getting the URL for the file. So I'm going to copy those in. Let's zoom down a little bit. Okay. So you can see um, this is the actual name of the file. So we're saving everything under the user ID folder so that way we can write um, rules against that. So we can say if the user ID, user ID user can edit it, if the user ID matches, and we're saving it the recipe ID, and then we're popping off the uh, file extension. And then we're basically saving it and then returning the path right here. And this is where we get the Firebase URL. So we take the path and we were able to get this download URL from that path. So now that we have that, um, we're ready to uh, update the record with that path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this in and explain this. So give me one second and we're off. Okay, so this will get the, get the recipe, it'll add it, it'll upload the file, and then it'll update it with the picture URL. Now this isn't gonna work, and the reason it's not gonna work is that we don't have any rules for updating. But I'll show you the error we get, because I think it's important that you see that. So we'll do rice and beans. We'll say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter, we'll use this funny picture. And yeah, we can just submit and we should get the error and we did. So if I right click and inspect, there's two possibilities. So yeah, Fire Storage is actually giving us the error first, but also Firebase would as well. So let's go to that website, console. I'm going to my Firebase. I need to switch to my other Gmail account and we'll go to Noah's videos. Okay. 
So let's handle um, the storage first. So if I look at my rules for storage, and I did preset these rules, so your rules might be different. I'm allowing everyone to read, but I'm not allowing everyone to write. Um, so let's do that. Let's fix that. So I'm going to copy and paste this rule in, and this rule will allow users to write to the database. So notice I have this user ID right here, and I'm saying the user has to be logged in and the user ID has to match this user ID. So they can write to the fo folder as long as the user ID matches, which is what we want. Now we can also do stuff like, uh, we could also validate size here. Now I'm not gonna do that, but I'll just show you. You can do resource and then dot, and I think it's size, yeah, and that'll give you the megabyte. So that would be something I would do on a uh, professional project. Um, this is more of a demo. So I'm gonna click publish, and that'll publish that. And then the other error that we would have gotten is for the rules. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go to rules, and you can see we're, um, we're not allowing um, updates, basically. So we wanna do that. So let's go ahead and allow an update if the user's logged in and the user ID matches the ID that's being saved on the record. So resource.data.userID basically refers to this user ID right here. So if these two match, they can edit the record. And we're editing the record when we save it because we need to upload the picture and then get the file path. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, that's totally cool. Um, just ask a question, I'll be happy to answer. So now I'm going to publish that, and that's awesome. So hopefully this works. So now I'm going to fill it out for real. This is rice and beans. Blah. I'm sorry. Blah. We've got a good image. We'll do rice. I'll do cups. Uh, it doesn't matter, I guess. And beans. I'll do pounds, why not, and two pounds. So now we can see this, we don't have any errors, and if our rules worked, everything should work. And we did get an error saving. Permission denied, could not permit this operation. Probably means we got something wrong. Okay, hopefully, um, sorry about that. So this is the actual rules you wanna use. So you wanna use it has to match all the paths, so that's what we want for read. And then this, the, basically they all belong in these little blocks. But um, the basic logic was right. Sorry about that. So now if I click Submit, I, I'm actually able to save the recipe. So if I go back to here, I go to Firestore, go to Recipes, tons of recipes. But yeah, you can see it's saving right here. So you can see uh, I've got the... Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. But I've got basically got the Firebase URL right here. And if I were to copy that and open that on a new tab, you can see the little dog right here. So it looks like we're able to save uh, pictures or, or res pictures to recipes, and that's all working. I'm gonna have a blog post with all this information in it. Um, I hope you have a great day. If you have any feedback, please let me know. If you're willing to take a quick uh, five or 10 minute survey, or, or jump on a Zoom call with me, please let me know that as well. I'm building something uh, new and I'm trying to get some people that would be uh, willing to interview uh, with me. But I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you soon.